If only I could randomize the speed of those. That would be so funny. I reduced this volume a little bit. All of Dardu. Dardu moment. Apparently Spring's subtitle is It's a Big World Outside. Hello, Afterglow. And hello, sweet Enkemon. Yeah, we could have races. <laughs> that would be funny. I don't think it has that functionality by default. I wonder if it's open source. It's a nice little thingy. It's like from Slime 2. What's it called? Stream. I don't know. I swear I had the uh, the bookmark somewhere. I lost it. <laughs> no. Ooh. Slime too sweet's true. <laughs> Hello, friends. Oh, I need to move this to the other monitor. That's right. Okay. Because I need my main monitor for um, drawing the thing. Uh, let's see. That messed up my webcam. We look fine. How's game... Not game audios. I mean, how's... <laughs> how is the audio so far? Is it... Should I lower the music or is it fine? I'm tall! Look at my double jointed arm. <laughs> it's so double jointed. <laughs> Hi, VT. Welcome to New Suite. This is. Uh, oh, let me see. Uh, 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 where is our. Now playing. I s I'm like using this person's videos because they have such a nice formatting. Where they're now playing like on the video so then i just like crop it to that part of the video and it looks nice <laughs> yeah it starts your spring <laughs> do that again your friend can do that like this is my arm straight but this is my arm fully extended <laughs> i have a double jointed arm i have too many joints <laughs> it's so weird it's like kind of a bother sometimes <laughs> I feel like it's kind of cursed. Last night, I couldn't freaking, like, you know when you feel like you need to crack your knuckle, but it's not happening? I felt that, but like with my elbow for the entire night. It was terrible. She had an elbow injury that caused it? What? I feel like that's just how my body is. I have it for both of my elbows. I learned this because like, thank you for welcome to Tal. Uh, I learned this because I was playing Taiko and like, there's a difference between having your arms straight and having your arm fully extended. You're ready for the scuff? I don't know if I'm ready for the scuff. Look what I made. They added a spin blur um, function to CSP. So now I can make, I put a bunch of blobs of color and then I added, I'd made it spin blur. My arm has no recoil from Taiko. That's why you need to not fully extend your arm. <laughs> if I need a relaxing peach drink. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I, th I think I will try to make scuffed things. And hello, Adam. I hope you're doing well. Um, I need to pull up the, the list of things, though. So, give me a second. I'm... Very relaxed, so that means I'm not fully prepared. I don't know why these things are mutually exclusive. I only know how to prepare when I'm like extremely anxious, I think is the thing. <laughs> my arms are not shock absorbent. I don't know anything about my arms. But yeah, for Taiko, you just need to be loose so that you can just release all of the tension into the drum instead of absorbing it. So what we're gonna do for this, by the way, is I made these pixel brushes so that I can have hard edge pixel brushes. 
so that there's no anti-aliasing. I don't know if we want to go with 1,000 pixels for the size. Maybe we can make it less. Oh, well, that's weird. I don't know why there's something way out there in, on the layer. Uh, let me try to remove that. 1,000 pickles, true. Uh, how much can we scale this? Let's see if we can do, like how big is 500 pixels by 500 pixels? Sometimes I still get shocked that my X key is the control key because my X key cap broke. Okay, uh... I think 500 pixels will be good. Like with a 10 pixel thingy. I probably don't need... my whole thing to be this big then. Uh, let's do this. Let's change the canvas, uh, no, the image resolution to half. Okay, I'm nervous. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to make these scuffed. I'm worried that I'm just gonna go into regular emote making mode, but that's why I made the background silly. <laughs> so I'm trying. We have five requests today. We have, um, N gave quite a bit of options for what to do. Uh, we could do Poke Krogunk. If anyone has Prime, that exists as a prime global emote. Or any of these if they inspire me. Yes, it's art stream time, Uncle Punch. Enjoy the lurk, VT. Thanks for coming. Um, and also gave these options for inspiring. Skull, cold face, or pouting cat. I think pouting cat might be pretty funny. But I also want to do the Poke Krogunk one. I need to look it up though, because I don't have Prime. If I can see it. Losing battle tree streaks, no! I hope you get your streaks back. Krogunk. Emo. It's an emo. Show me the emo. You love when N uses the Krogunk emote? Yeah, I should do the Krogunk emote, I think. Oh, thanks, Kimlon. Yeah, that one. I need to make it scuffedly. So here's our emote borders this box that is on the screen. Uh... Let's see. Let's read out the other requests. VT has requested a scuffed bean fall. Sweet has requested a scuffed bean manch. Kimelon has requested a scuffed bean thinkies. And Sweet has requested a, a scuffed bean sniff. <laughs> these are gonna be funny. There's so many beans. I need to tell you, I've had these... Um, I've had some emotes listed in my, like, notes on my phone for, like, a really long time. And some of the ones that have, like, been acquired... You would have done bean vibrate scuffedly. That's amazing. Maybe, uh, we'll see how much time we have, but... I just have that as, like, a regular emote I need to do. Uh, some of the emotes that are also on my regular emotes I need to do list are, like, bean nod, bean smh. <laughs> Kimlon came up with these. And then... Uh, or at least bean smh. And then there's bean ear. <laughs> And bean, bean eyes slash bean notice. Bean ear is funny. Bean SMH. <laughs> Can you imagine Bean Bun SMHing you? Bean Bun is like the politest little bean. <laughs> bean Bun's gonna SMH. No. Okay, let's do Pro Gunk. This is supposed to be scuffed, so this is an extreme introspective art practice 
in which we are making the perfectionist do do their worst, but like do the best at being the worst. But wait, it doesn't have to be the best. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> we got this. We got this. All right. No line art. <laughs> this is so hard already. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. I have the emo up on my reference. Dream shake. <laughs> uh, I'm like trying to apply to a hobby store um, for part-time work. Do you think I should show up in my Fortnite shirt or one of my Minecraft shirts? Kimlan suggested showing up in one of my Japanese shirts because um, they also have like anime stuff there. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> My Fortnite shirt is just is so funny. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to press undo. I mean like I can if I want to. It's okay. I just like it's okay if I don't also. Were the requests- no, they were, uh, well, they were on Kofi and on here. Right, this is what it said. I had it on, um, like... I had it on, like, the title, exclamation mark, commands, or whatever. I don't know a good way to be like, Hi, welcome into stream. Here are all of the announcement commands you should look at. <laughs> it's kind of hard. You did yours offline. I see. Yeah, They're, they were also open during the offline. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry you missed it this time. See, so it's gonna be rich in V bucks. I'm gonna uh do my dream check. Cool. Anyways, I hope y'all are having a great Tuesday. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that squiggly squag. No! Okay, I need to tell you all. For the past two nights, I've been having this dream that I'm like a piece of like stretchy candy that is like being stretched with other candy. Like if you've ever seen like hard candy be made, like it's just like sugar, sugary stretchiness, and then they, they stretch it over and over again, like mixing paints. And it's like, I was a like lime green color, and then once there was no more lime green, like, I was kicked into spectator mode. It was so weird. So, I'm gonna have more squiggly squag dreams, I see. Yeah, it's really weird. I was like, I was like stuck in the out of bounds, and then it was like, oh, you can't come back until somehow these colors form lime green again, or there's enough lime green. And then, like, some lime green is being formed. Okay. <laughs> this is a flat. Flat Krogunk. Color. And then we're gonna have... We can do line color. And... A over paint. These are all the layers. Not the spoilies OST. Oh man, color outside the lines. I need. I know. I need to try to. <laughs> this is so tough. This is so funny. <laughs> this is like. This is good for my brain. <laughs> Don't look at it. I'm not. Oh yeah, I shouldn't look at the OST thing. I came up with this idea because I thought it would be funny, like for the, oh, <laughs> for the scuffed emotes. I thought it would be funny, but also like, I literally think I need this for like personal development. Oh my god, <laughs> it's good for me. <laughs> it's so painful. What is this emote's name? Um, everyone type Krogunk without looking at the keyboard, <laughs> and then we'll pick the worst one for, for it to be the emo name. <laughs> this may help you f have fun with the process, just make little guys. True! I really- one of my art goals is to really make, like, 
more expressive art this year. And I, I have had a history of struggling with perfectionism. So I need to do more silly little exercises like this in order to like break away from it, you know? So this is good. It's actually very good. Totally not painful at all. This is a painless exercise <laughs> in art freedom and dismantling our perfectionist habits. <laughs> Just be silly. <laughs> The perfectionism struggle is relatable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I've had this feeling for like so long and it's like, sometimes I'll like approach it with like, oh, okay, like I'm gonna make my line art looser. And it's like, okay, I can do it a little bit, but then I go back to trying to make clean line art. I think like one of the problems now is that like I do art for commission work pretty consistently nowadays and like for commission work like i'm drawing neat art and it's like <laughs> so for my personal art i'm trying to make it different and like more expressive and like not perfectionist but we just have perfectionism happening in in the the work art okay i did it we made the crow gunk. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do... Like, erasing outside of... Maybe I can just add a mask. Like, for making it more squarey. I don't know. I'll just erase a little bit. Like that. Okay, we did it! <laughs> And thanks for typing the thing, BT. I didn't do an overpaint or a line color. It's fine. Screw it. Goodbye, layers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god. It's like... I don't know. This doesn't, like... I, if, if this were a different artist or a different person doing this kind of a thing, it might not have to be like a... Um, a dismantling ordeal, but it is. <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> Let's do scuffed bean fall. I have no idea how this is gonna go. See, we could also approach this by like drawing the colors first and then drawing the lines over it, but I think I'm gonna go with, um, like, drawing the lines and then coloring and then trying to be okay with coloring outside of lines and scribbling and stuff. So, I have lines and color. Those were the only layers we needed last time, so let's, let's try that again. Bean fall. Uh, can I bring my navigator to over here again so that... It exists as a source. Let's see. CSP preview. There we go. Now you can see the whole thing even if I'm zoomed in. Yeah, you don't need to see my layer names. <laughs> okay, bean fall? Hmm. I added a face. I was gonna press Control Z, but I think it would be funnier if I didn't. Color bean bun. Hi. I have I have so many bean bun emotes to draw. Bean of bun. There they are. I draw them so much like light green. But like the canonical bean bon is so yellow. Squimp shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh let's get a leaf's color. This is so good actually. This is like we already drew an emote and it like isn't even that far into the stream. This is how it should be. 
This is a goal. Maybe we will have time for uh, making some other sillies. I would also like to have these in the Discord. Uh, I need to clear out some emotes. Like, maybe if there's some emotes that only I'm really using, then I can put them into my personal server and just use them, like... Uh, just use them... What is it called? Like, from... Yeah, with... Oops, wrong brush. With nitro. Yeah, we already got two emotes, this rules. I think for this one, I'll color the lines a little bit. Color. And spring vibes. I've been feeling the spring vibes lately. Like, I've been going outside a lot and I'm like, oh my god, flowers. It's amazing. We went to the beach today. I went to the beach two weeks ago also. And I can go to the beach again if I want to. Isn't this amazing? Life is great. Okay, I did it. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> it fell so hard that they're spilling some of their color. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Beach. <laughs> yeah. I used to play that song on Just Dance like all the time. I like this style. <laughs> this is this is how I want to be. This is good practice. <laughs> BT no. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna mark. Thank you all for your requests, by the way. I'm gonna mark ends and VTs as complete. Okay, Bean Munch. I did not imagine what this is gonna look like, by the way. So, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't really know. But line color. Now that we're 18 plus, you can say that. There's a story that Kimline wants me to tell you that happened today, and they said I can tell it because we're an 18 plus stream. <laughs> We were at the beach, and I saw these two pigeons, like, doing a weird dance. <laughs> and I was like, that's so funny, look at them. They're holding beaks and, like, doing a handshake with their head. Like, they're going up and down like this with their beaks. <laughs> and then... And then one of the pigeons, like, circled the other pigeon. And then climbed on top of them. And then we were both like, oh, okay, <laughs> look away. And then we kept walking. <laughs> we saw nature happen. It was literally their mating dance, their mating ritual. I was showing Kim Lan their foreplay. <laughs> it was the worst. It was so cursed. I'm sorry I made you look. I for I'm forgetting how to zoom in because this is so cursed. <laughs> yeah, I just I thought it was so weird what their they were doing with their beaks, but <laughs> 400. Oh my god, that's a lot of quotes. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have more squiggly squag dreams. Bean Monch. Okay. So for a long time, I have thought we have needed a bean eating emote because we have bean sip, but we don't have like a bean, bean eat some snacks. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, we saw nature happen, is what Kim Lan said after we were walking away. <laughs> uh, anyways, I don't know. What being Monch was in, like, in response to if there was something happening in Kirby that inspired Sweet. But I'm, I have imagined this as being Monch. <laughs> 
It's a glob <laughs> Oh my god. Be fun! I need some control Z allowances, please. This is Kirby over here. <laughs> Kirby is in danger. Kirby's getting glomped by their friend. I don't know what Kirby's facial expression should be, it's okay. Let's color this a bit. Now <laughs> Kirby knows how, to, how it feels true. Kirby's always the one eating, but not getting eaten. But I guess sometimes King DDD has uh, eating powers or like inhaling powers. This is fun to color. I should do a whole drawing that is just with, um, what is it called? Like these pixel brushes. Maybe I'll do it, uh, once we finish all the requests. I'll do some drawing with this. DDD is already perfect. I haven't um, gotten to play as him in Return to Dreamland DX, but he's smallened in that game, I think. He's so round and small. Orange. I like the song. Octopath Traveler. I've heard good things about that game. Beam from launching crew. <laughs> Let me add more line color on this one. But yeah, I don't know, like maybe I need to make a bean snacking emote. I always talk about snackies, but we only have bean sip. So maybe this needs to change. Bean sip. <laughs> bean sip is so funny. Sometimes, like, I'm hanging out with Kimlon in real life and I can feel them bean sipping at something I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, let's move everything up into the right. We've done the bean munch. I don't know what you had in mind, sweet. All right, bean thinkies. Thank you for the request, though. Here's Kimlan's request of bean thinkies. Line. You don't know I. <laughs> nice. I have conjured something then. For a moment, my brain was like, imagining giving Bean Bon like an actual green hand. I'd be kind of cursed. Uh, I don't know how much I want it to be a Bean Bon or like the actual Thinkies emote. I need the Thinkies emote for reference. Where is Do we have it in the chat? Thank you. I guess we don't. Thank <laughs> you. Let me see if it's on Google. Alright, found it. Oh, 
Oak for breathing, please. This can be the shape of bean. such a joy to be honest with the um the pixel brushes i like it sonic colors music oh nice i haven't been looking at the the track list a lot i'm just like just in case the pikmin 4 song who knows all of these are pikmin 4 songs now i have an idea the hand's gonna be orange Like Bean Bond's feet, but hands. Oops. I think I need to move one of the eyes down a little bit more. They're too even. I don't know. This is fine. I don't know if I add the lights though. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna color the leaves. This is so okay. After I got the in over the initial shock, like this is actually very relaxing. <laughs> it's really weird, like to have changed that feeling like so fast. I made the bean thinkies. Thank you, Kim Long, for this request. Orange. They are so thinkies. They have so... <laughs> What's wrong, sweet? Why can't you post what you've made? <laughs> Alright, now we gotta do bean sniff. This is a sweet second request. you do color all right yeah I was like I guess after this I could work on some of those bean bean motes that I had mentioned that like I kind of want to do but I want to do some more drawings in this black color pixel brush style so I think I'll just do something for fun after no, sweet. No. Alright, bean sniff. I can't I kind of had a vision of this one while I was napping or something. So let's see if I can capture it. Oops. Chrono Trigger song? Why does it sound so iconic? I mean, not that I'm surprised, I'm just like... The progression sounds very iconic. And I'm not sure I've heard this song before. Yeah, Chrono Trigger has really good stuff. And I should play it. Bean bomb looking down. <laughs> I 
That's so really so funny. I should play it. Play the DS version. Is the definitive version. Okay, cool. I'll I'll keep that in mind. I was actually recently looking into um. How like I could get a 3DS with a capture card, but it seems like like the individual people's production on that is really like slowing down, uh, or like people aren't really doing it as much anymore, which is too bad. Okay. Now I don't know if I wanted uh like an yellow emoji nose on this or not, but I'm gonna add the- after the- the main color. Yeah, I w the alternative was that I was just gonna, like, add some nostrils. <laughs> but, like, the yellow nose might be funny to put on top. That's kind of what I had, um, in mind for, like, bean ear. Just put the yellow emoji ear over. And thanks for drawing along, sweet. Even though you have made, I mean, especially though, or even though, <laughs> you've made some cursed things, apparently. A big nose with big nostrils, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the idea I want to go for, so we'll try it. We'll see how this takes us. They're so determined. Okay, nose. Who knows how this is gonna turn out? <laughs> Wait, what does the emoji nose look like? Let's see, nose. <laughs> Maybe this is where I should do the color first. Front facing nose, yeah. <laughs> it's a nose! <laughs> Calm down, it's fine! <laughs> Facing nose isn't real. <laughs> How do you make it like, you know, when things are like making noses really. They're working really hard at sniffing something? <laughs> I can't stop looking at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Why did we bond? <laughs> Let's see, uh... This just looks like whiskers. I don't know how to make it more like air. Maybe it's okay without it. I don't know. What do you all think we should do? Because I only know the, uh, what is this emote called? The one where it's like, I'm on that grind huffing emote. <laughs> but it's like huffing out through their nose, like, outward instead of like sniffing. I'm looking for it. Here it is. It's called Triumph. Maybe I just need to add, like... I don't know what the intended use of that emoji was. It looks like they're, like, doing, <laughs> like, a determined face, like, I... But maybe that's just what I think now because of how it's been used. I have no idea. Well, 
Wow, we've accomplished so much. Bean sniffs. Bean sniffs. I'm just gonna leave it as um, that. Let me erase the corners a little bit. I'm gonna crop it closer, maybe. So the nose really shows. Okay, we did it. We did the five requests. This has been the request speed run. Thank you all for participating in these requests. <laughs> what is this? Discord link. It's opening in browser. It's so loading. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> Why does Plank- why did Plankton have a nose? Alright, we did it. Um... I guess I can, um, do the exporting on here as well. Can... Make a way to export it. So I did it, like, sort of 500 pixels, so... I'll just chill out and export these. Um, I have a template for emotes that we can use. This is 400 by 400, but we can edit it. It's too. It smells like plankton in the air. Therefore, plankton smells. Oh, yeah. Like when something's stinky. Uh. I'm kind of lost in my files. I haven't, since vacation, I haven't like gotten completely like back into my file organization. I'm just like, where am I? Like being away from my computer for a week was weird, but it was good. Uh, I stared into the, the desert sun instead. Monthly doodles. Okay. Export. Scuffed. Emotes. Export. Okay, save as. So we're just gonna put them onto here so that we can... This is a Discord color background. Um, I need to change the canvas resolution or something. Canvas properties to be 500 by 500 for the output frame. No, we're doing it things that are too sobering now. We're doing exporting. I can go back to drawing after. Uh, I can delete this. Maybe I can just uh, scale this layer. Let's see how that would work. One hundred twenty-five, I think. I'm doing math. Oh yeah, that's right. Wow. We solved math. I'm just making a quick way to export it all at once, basically. So I need to grab all of these. Put it into this. We solved math. Yeah, we solved all of the famous unsolved problems. P equals NP. More like PP. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I totally I solved it. We we know math. But yeah, let's let's position these emotes into this box. So uh 
Oh wait, I also need to make a timeline so we can export it. Frame rates, let's say one. Playback time, five. I now have no limits on my frame rate and like playback time. Well, I didn't have limits on the frame rate, just a playback time. Now that I have the full version of um, Clip Studio Paint, it's very cool. Meh, <laughs> yeah. Scuffed emotes. Let's put all of these onto frames. I basically just use the animation um, features of CSP in order to quickly export things as well. I can't find Beanball. Oh, there it is. I lost it. Bean Munch. Bean Thief. <laughs> Uh, they look funny. Bean sniff, where are you? <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on bean sniff, I think. Can we do this? Transformation settings. Mm. Interpolation method? Nearest neighbor, maybe? There we go. I'm gonna fix this dot on Beanbon's cheek. You did not see me do that. <laughs> okay, now we can hide the background and export it. Tropical freeze. What is the newest game in the Donkey Kong series? Is it this one? I have some drawing ideas that I want to do. But I wonder what would which one would be best for me to approach in the style. Oh dang, when did this come out? When was Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze? But yeah, let me export these. Uh, maybe this one I could also zoom in. I'm trying to remember my shortcuts. No, not that. This. Okay. I have to choose a folder in here. 10 years ago? Oh my god. It's like the Pikmin pain. Okay, I think we have them now. Yeah, I'll have to find like five Discord emotes to clear out. Um that we can use these because I think we have like or maybe just four we have like one empty spot or something right now monthly doodles nice <laughs> okay they're here cool ta-da we did it and let me sign this beautifully signature EP that's my signature Ta-da! My signature is in Helvetica. <laughs> Kimelan and I watched this uh, documentary about the font Helvetica, and now I can't stop talking about it or making memes about it. Apparently, it's like used for like so many logos and stuff. It's like a very prevalent font. Fonts documentary, yeah! Uh, it had some stuff about typography and lots of different people 
were like talking about their opinions on like typography and some people are like hardcore minimalist modernist people they're like they really want fonts to be like uh, an empty vessel for information basically so that text can just be information instead of stylized in any way like it's so interesting to hear like people talk about that it is very uh it's very interesting to my design design theory brain hmm where did i write down my ideas for drawings okay i think it was in my sketch let me grab my sketch i'll be right back Ling Ding's blast. Oh my god. Someone like showed this article that was in 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 the documentary they showed an article that was they were like the writing is so pointless that they set the font to Wing Dings and they published it like that. And like they were like that serves basically the same purpose because they felt the writing of the article was like so nothing. So that was like yeah, the other, the other side of the extreme. Um, I've been spending a lot of time in cafes recently. Uh, just to like draw and journal. And I have some ideas that I wanted to draw. So I've actually been using the sketchbook, which is awesome because I bought the sketchbook and I was really worried it was gonna be, oops, sorry. I was worried it was going to be another empty sketchbook, but here I have an idea that I want to draw. Let's take this canvas size. I like this canvas size that we're working with. So... It is like... 2750... 2000-ish. 2000 sure, let's work with this. And then maybe if I just can start working on it, then we can, we don't have to worry about the, the layer names quite yet. Or maybe at all. <laughs> I want to like figure out a way that I'm just mostly working on the drawing itself. Okay. I guess I should change, uh the title maybe to the stream where is that Sh uh, quick actions drawing scribbling after scuff we did it I feel so accomplished <laughs> like uh, when I first came up with the or I think Kimmeline came up with the monthly requests idea back when I was doing post-it notes. Uh, like when we first came up with that idea, like... The idea was for like the doodles to take like... 15 minutes. <laughs> but... I was nowhere near that uh, time, basically, so... I need to add randomization to this, uh, to this brush. Color jitter? Randomized per strip. Hue! No hue. Okay, cool. I like this pixel brush. I'm, I, like, was planning to only use it for today, but, like, maybe I'll end up using it more for more stuff. I could also just use the default like a hard brush that has some anti-aliasing, but we have this. I have no idea how I want to do these colors. Um, there is one thing I do want to still do while I'm drawing this though, which is that 
a good way to check your levels. I don't know if I've ever brought this up on stream or shown it on stream. To check your levels or like your values, which is like what's dark and light on your drawing, is you make, you fill a whole layer with anything that is just black or white or gray. And then you set that layer's blending mode to, where is it? <laughs> Oh my god. Is this- would it be saturation? I don't know. I need to open an old file to, to double check. But basically then it'll show like how bright and dark your colors are. I'm pretty sure I did it on um, a drawing towards the end of last year so I'm just trying to find the file of it. Yeah. Cause like you can kind of see it intuitively, but sometimes the saturation like makes you feel like see it a little bit differently. What do you do with this information? Like you try to see if like your shapes are still Oh here's black and white check. Oh it's I said it's a color. Okay. Saturation. Is that slightly different? Color. Okay. So for this drawing, like I have, um, like my idea is to go from bright in the middle to like darker on the edges with some highlights on the edges, but um, like I have that going on with like the yellow to blues. Thank you. I'm so proud of this drawing. I like it a lot. I want to do some more like this, but I also am currently itching to explore like some more scribbly stuff rather than muted line art this is this is still like looser line art than i'm used to so it's still an accomplishment but i like the flowiness it was very inspired by like ghibli-esque hair anyways i have a layer above everything here or it's not above my signature so let me put that above everything for real And then if I turn it on, you can see the actual values of the colors. And then like, we can see that it's like, actually light in the middle going out to dark. Um, which like, all of the colors are really saturated, so... It might not be completely clear. And if you want to double check, then that's how you do it. You have that grayscale layer on top and and check the values and then like what you're checking with it is like if your drawing is still like readable or like your shapes are still readable um let me see another drawing that i did this with i think i did i did it with the uh, my link rainbow drawing skyward sword rainbow psd we are this one, I actually had, I used it to like, inform that like, I didn't have enough contrast in the drawing at first, actually. Um, like, I didn't have enough dark or light colors with links. So like the background is all like sort of one similar gray-ish color. But like Link didn't stand out as a subject, so I needed to actually make his his clothes darker uh, in response to like seeing how the grayscale looked. So that was interesting. It was useful, and I think I think it was good for. That. Thanks, Adam. I also like remembered that this drawing reminded me that adjustment layers exist. So like. Um, I drew everything kind of dark and then like I added this level correction to sort of like brighten it a little bit and add contrast. I don't know like part of me was like forgetting that I could do level or like adjustment layers. Yeah you love adjustment layers I need to learn. <laughs> Like, I think I got way too deep into, like, color study mode, where, like, I- oh. 
Ugh, I just dropped my tablet. I got way too deep into color study mode where it's like, okay, like... I'm focusing on, like, looking at the reference and, like, translating it into the colors I want to use. But I'm also missing the step of, like, using adjustment layers to also make the colors that I want to use. And it's like, it's digital art. I should use the tools that are available to me. Like, it's probably rooted in some like weird elitism things that I sponged up. But yeah, I like that, uh, this value checking. Cause I guess like for these two colors that I already put down, I don't even know, like it's, it kind of looks like it could be the same brightness, but um, I guess the magenta is a little brighter. I don't like this magenta anyways. Let's fix it. <laughs> anyways, this is black light check. We have this layer now. We can use it. Uh, I don't know how I want to do the background. Maybe I'll do the background sky first. I'm trying to do like a, a sunset ish but I don't really remember I don't really know so we're just gonna scribble but yeah those two drawings I just showed you are basically like some of the drawings I'm most proud of so I'm glad that I got to show you also like I feel like because I did that like black and white check and like some other techniques there like is the reason why it like was able to come out good so like some other things you wonder if some long ago traditional artists checked their arts under lighting conditions or through colorful lenses oh well, yeah through the colored lenses is, is something i didn't really consider you know how we have colored lights in this room and like uh, we can change the color of the bulb like through our phone apps like I referenced Kim Lon doing that before. Oh, I just made a buy sky. <laughs> that was a complete accident, but uh, we take those. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes like there will be an object in the room while the lights are like reddish or orangish, and then it's like, wait, I don't know what color this actually is. The song is so cute. This is really bright. Uh, I want this front area to be more orangish. So let's see how we can do that. But also night. Maybe this is still good. I don't know. This is gonna be a lot of trial and error. <laughs> pick up for her final boss name. <laughs> no. I also did add randomization to my hue, but we don't have to have that, so we'll see. Louis' heroic sacrifice? Why would you spoil that, sweet? Why would you say that? <laughs> no. Such a spoilers. <laughs> I love talking about art stuff. Like I have, I feel like there's a lot of art stuff that I work on or like learn that I I just don't know like when to bring it up or like where to bring it up. So then when it randomly comes up in an art stream and then I can go through my files and like show y'all stuff, it, it's really fun. And yeah, those drawings are still pretty recent even though it feels so long ago. Like those two drawings are less than, they're like only about four months old. It just feels like so much longer ago because I've been drawing so much this year. Okay, I need to end up making some sort of transition from this to the next color a little better. Oh man, what did I do? Okay, I followed this color theory person on Instagram 
And now, whenever I'm like casually looking through Instagram a little bit, sometimes I'll just like scroll and see them post about color theory and like they're posting about something that is like literally blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not ready to casually be seeing this information, but I don't know, like, there's some there's some posts that are simmering in my brain now, and one of it is about similar colors, and I'm sort of looking at what I'm drawing right now and seeing that, like, existing. It's weird. Maybe I'll have some art study uh, stream sometime. This is, like, not... This was meant to be the art quest stream, but finished art request so maybe I'll explicitly do some art study streams like and I'll talk about things and we'll, we'll learn you need to know more about color theories you're a color fan I'm also a color fan I wonder what oh I need to save this let's save it as a uh, desert I'm a color fan in chat today it's true I need to uh, figure out what their username is, then we can like go through and maybe study a little bit. Just experiment with color. Okay, I'll have this as my base sky layer. Um, I don't want to lay the foreground out. Maybe I should get rid of some of these brighter colors because I want it to be like a nighttime-ish scene. Whoa, this looks like the color of like terracotta in Minecraft. Very interesting. This is good. I think this is what I was looking for. I love the randomized hue. It's so powerful. Like. I would never be able to make drawings like this, like, I don't know, manually changing the hue all the time. Like, I could, but it would take so long. Sometimes I think about uh, people who stream Minecraft and, like, they stream it like an art stream and they're, like, building. I haven't really, like, watched those kinds of streams, but like, it makes sense conceptually that Minecraft streams exist like that since there's like the creative aspect to it. I'm just like not... I'm still finding my way as a creative Minecraft person. You enjoy colors as well, it's one of the best Sonic games. <laughs> Where's the Kirby colors game? Will there be a Kirby Colors? Okay, this is supposed to be a road. Let's see, what else can I do? I can add li the little cars onto it and we can start to... Um... Create our sense of scale. Very thinking out loud now. This is interesting. We can create our sense of scale of like... The level of detail that I want to get into, I guess. Uh... Rear lights are red, and then the front headlights are like... Bright... Yellowish or something. Can I get a multi-line brush? Where are you, multi-line brush? Where did I put you? Ben? Multi-lines brush. Uh... You never thought about it before, but you can see Kirby using the wisp from Sonic Colors. I don't know anything about Sonic Colors, actually. But that's cool that it could work. How do I want to do this? Okay, I think I- I think I know. So 
Sonic's colors are blue and tan. True. These are true facts. From BG Suites. Oh, I need to turn off randomized per stroke. I was like, why is it not giving me my color? And then... Yeah, I think I've got it. Is your internet- Oh no, we're dropping frames! Something is going on. What timing? Hello? Are we back? It looks like we stopped dropping frames. But maybe something happened. Welcome to new- Oh my gosh! We're back, okay, thanks. Yeah, dang. I'm just gonna double it like that. Welcome to new again, sweet. Yes. Oh man. Mission successful. Are we back again? Oh. Ah. Sorry about stream drops. Oh no. What's happening? Didn't go through on the chat box. Testing? Refresh. Okay, test. Are we back? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Hello, I see your test. Oh, let me refresh my chat box in OBS. I see you on the screen, but I don't see you in the OBS chat. <laughs> ah, that's so scary. You were sending messages, but they weren't appearing in the chat box. Okay, whoa. Hello, I see things now. Hello, I can't see you. I can see you, but chat is not moving. I see your test. Okay. Maybe it's better now? Sorry, that was weird. Welcome to new again! Oh my god. Yay. Hi, y'all. Sorry about those weird drops. Unfortunate. I wonder what was going on. We, we do have random internet drops sometimes. It's just like not anything like when we were in the apartment and had internet drops like every stream. That was awful. How do I make green looking plants? Without using actual green because actual green would look like this. I think I use blue. Ish. Yeah, that's weird how that works. Black and white check. So that plant is just like... This is like too similar of a value, so I need to make it darker. This checking thing is pretty useful for... For something where I'm going to be working with lots of colors. Look, it's a canonical cactus. It might be too big. Canon canonical cacti have the little arms. And then there's other types of desert plants, I suppose. Yeah, we did see canonical cacti on the way back and stuff. They are so canonical. Some of these are meant to be cacti and some of them are not. I don't know if I'm being really consistent about that. Plants. A lever in the canonical cacti, yeah. Lever. Lever are like those, uh, those Zelda enemies.
the friends. They were also in the desert. Speaking of Zeldas, maybe I'll actually be able to play Minecraft today because I wanted to play yesterday, but it was like, I really wanted to be able to make it to the beach tomorrow, so I prioritized sleeping and it was worth it. We made it to the beach in the morning. It was great. I love seeing <gasps> the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword romance in the air. <laughs> oh my god. romantic song it says it in the title that's how i know but yeah maybe i'll go mining today in minecraft I think these are too saturated overall. Maybe I should uh, reduce the saturation on these plants. We can do that with an adjustment layer. Let's try to figure that out. Layer add correct. Saturation. For all the iron we need, yeah. I think we got a ton of iron. <laughs> we still need gold though, so oops. I need to clip that layer. Uh, layer, new correction layer. Minus saturation, and clip it to the plant one. Voluminosity, can be darker. You don't think big gold veins exist? Yeah, no. But I could just mine in the nether. I do like doing that. Just go piglin mode. <laughs> this is what I call it. And then, um, mine the gold ores in the nether. Badlands. Oh yeah, we should try that. Speaking of. These plants looking like that. Um, hmm. Now maybe I should add some things that are more tumbleweedy. Just add some random plants. What happens if I make it more gray? What does it look like? This is gray! Look at this color! Color theory is weird. <laughs> it looks so green because it's against this bright red. What the heck? That's so cursed. <laughs> Anyways, I'll use that I guess. We'll add some tumbleweedy. Things. We did see tumbleweeds, but like, you can't really stop in the desert highway because um, everyone's going like 80, 90 miles per hour. It's a one lane road. There's not really space to stop, unfortunately. But I did appreciate some tumbleweeds existences. This is... Inspired by the trip, if not, if I didn't explicitly say that, but it is. Desert, highways, and sunsets. And I will also draw some blobby glowing beings that are supposed to represent people. <laughs> Tumbles weeds. This like, I guess what part of this is, is like it 
brings back the feeling of like drawing an MS paint where like the tools aren't too complicated so like you just draw <laughs> without thinking too hard about the tools and stuff because it like it's nice to have nice tools but like sometimes you have to focus on like that feeling of creating I guess and I've sorely been needing that Sometimes people do some drawings in MS Paint and like post it on Twitter nowadays. I have not done that kind of thing though. Kirby's epic yarn! Let's do a, a full check. Okay, this is fine with me so far. Hmm. Maybe let's work on the sky a little bit and see what we can do there. I kind of want to make it more nighttime-ish, a little bit, at the top. Here, have some yarn, because you're epic. Kirby says thanks! I gotta, I wanna get back to thinking of some ideas for like next year's April Fool's stream. I have like a whole theme that I wanna do that I've expressed. I wanna do like a early 2000s internet theme. It'll be fun. <laughs> Maybe I've done enough horizontal lines and I should do some sort of hatching. Let's try that. I should play Epic Yarn at some point. Yeah, I should. You want to help doing things with the theme? Yeah, I think it could be a really fun, a really fun day. Uh, pen. That's good. Square rake. I make the anti-aliasing. This is what all the fancy art kids use. They use rake brushes, which means it draws multiple lines at once. This one too, but this one's more uh, spaces in between, so I'm gonna use this one. I think I need to add color jitter to this too. Uh, let's make a copy of this. Square egg two. And put it into my current tools. Um... Color jitter. Randomized brush book. Let's just add more texture to the sky with some smaller lines. Uh, then I think I want to try to add like. Clouds? I don't know. I'm not sure how to how I'll feel about that yet. Oh man. This is good. <laughs> I'm feeling the drawing feeling of like, wow, I'm making a thing and I can do whatever I want with it. <laughs> it's so empowering. I kind of felt that feeling when we were drawing the scuffed emotes, but I had to get over the fear first, so I was more working on the fear part. Ooh, yes, I like this. This is fun. How, like, do people not overuse square, I mean, rake brushes? Like, when it, it adds just this much texture by just doing stroke. Maybe that's why I notice it so much, because it's fun. And people use it because it's fun. Ooh, okay. Sky rake. Maybe I can add rake to the foreground, but not too much. Thanks, yeah, the wavy lines are so fun. Foreground. Okay. 
Maybe I don't want to do that with Rake, but I want to add lines, so let's do it with pen. Like, sort of add the layers of the canyon. But yeah, later, Sweet and Kimlon, if you have any opinions on which emotes we could probably get rid of or move to a different server. Though I don't think y'all have Nitro right now. Then... It's fine if it's not a clear thing, because... Or like, you don't have a clear opinion, because... I don't know, I feel like I've looked at it before and it's... And like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some of the smalls that we don't really use. There's still some in there. Which are good art by community members, but we don't use it that often. Abysmal every day. <laughs> no. Luckily, I don't really have. My tummy is pretty, pretty, uh, hearty. <laughs> I don't have to take Pepto Abysmal every day. Pepto be small. But I. I do be small every day. That's true. Oh man, this is so cathartic. <laughs> Alright, where do I go from here? I want to add... Steppy friends. There's gonna be a lime one. A light blue one. And a green one. You'll never guess who these blobs are supposed to be. <laughs> Pounce, bounce, isle. Oh, it's from Bowser's Fury. I never finished that game, but I feel like I experienced all there was to experience. Somehow. Edit quote before go. How to edit? Oh, I, oh, I see the typo. Uh, I don't remember the edit quote in text that much myself either. We would like to play Bowser's Fury one day. I played on a copy that is not mine and that I no longer have. I would offer to give it to you, but yeah. Well, maybe there will be some future game that I will be able to give to you once I'm done with it. Because <gasps> I love this song. It's the Fur Can Walk song, but the actual song. Because now I'm trying to make an effort to buy my games physically. Yeah, the fur theme! I feel like I should do large blob before getting into the details. So let's do large blob first. Oh, you remove the timestamp slash name by editing it? Oh. I didn't know that would happen.
Oh no problem. Sorry, forget syntax. I don't remember. Edit quote. Edit quote and then the number. You are learned now. Oh, I love the song. I need to play it. Days of turning more. Wait, I gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna step on the cars. Oh no. I feel like I need them to be more like more less they need to be less human and more blobby how do i do that how do i create like more abstract shape and concept instead of worrying about anatomy this is what happens when you get bullied for your anatomy <laughs> it's trying warrior cat i'm just kidding i'm kidding but i'm not kidding <laughs> undertale copied the song so much yeah that's true oh my god I didn't even realize. Where does it show up in Undertale? I forgot. I forgot that the song is in Undertale, but it totally is. Hotland somewhere. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I haven't played Undertale in a long time. I was just hoping it would uh, toggle my memory, but it did not. Dostal my memory? Trying to be less of a defined human. <laughs> you know? Uh. I see a lot of art that is inspiring that is like more about the shapes and like like there's a lot of different things you can do with art and I feel like I do a lot of different things <laughs> which is <laughs> I'm rambling which uh it's gonna be good once I learn how to set up uh, a portfolio part of my website so that uh I can like organize it and be like oh Hey, people who want to know what kind of art I do, here it is in organized things like emotes and illustrations, and then whatever this is my experimental illustrations so far, but maybe it'll have groups and friends one day. But, anyways, I like doing a lot of different things. I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, there's a lot of like shape based arts that I've been inspired by recently, but I'm usually more on the like it has to make sense side. So it's, it's new to me. You keep thinking that it's gonna go into the undertone once you but it never does. I'll see the black and white check for this. Yes, this is what this is what I wanted it to how I wanted it to go. This is going well. <laughs> Yay! I wasn't sure how bright my other colors were, cause it's all very saturated. But luckily, we're able to keep the levels different. Ah. Okay, maybe we can be a little defined. Maybe it's okay. I'm a blobby. How blobby do I want to be? Maybe I should just choose a pen size and then we can use that to guide our level of detail that we want to be.
Do I want eyes? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm a person. <laughs> this is amazing. Working on some arts too, and you wish blender merging vertices and symmetry tools existed in Illustrator. Oh dang! Is it like not a thing for Adobe products to have plugins and stuff because it's not open source, I guess? Plugins are like user created thingies that help. This is interesting. Uh, I feel like I want the neck shape to be a little bit defined, but. My hair goes past it, so maybe not. I hope the arts stuff is going well. I want to do some art stuffs for game jammings. But it'll be a different art style than this. This art style is fun to mess around with. I'm trying to decide the level of defined that I want to be. Like, do I want to be an unsigned integer? <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Maybe I should ask my brother for more computer science memes. I bet his phone is full of them. Animal Crossing. Yeah, I will be a semi-defined human. Thank you very much. write down this idea to do color uh sorry not color, not specifically color theory but like studying streams art studying streams art studying because it's kind of like what i do sometimes when i'm doing art stuff but then i could talk about it out loud and other people could listen if they want my character I feel like I could go with this level of detail but like I want everyone to be pretty blobby maybe I should go back and be more blobby I can just have my sprout as a defining feature okay let's try this again hello Falcon I'm creating arts Here are the scuffed emotes that I drew earlier that are, oh, uh, they were the requests. I'm gonna try to put them up on Discord later, but here they are. Steve Universe Fusion version. <laughs> I wonder if this is more like the equivalent of Pink Steven or something. Thank you. Yes, this is Krogunk requested by N. Bean fall requested by BT. Bean sniff and bean chomp. Bean monch? Bean monch requested by sweet. And bean thinkies requested by Kimlan. Yes, I'm glad they were actually able to come out scuffed. You should have seen me, like, at the beginning. <laughs> I was, like, fighting for my life. <laughs> But it turned out to be great, and now I'm creating art with, like, less inhibition, which is 
basically the goal of this request board. So I'm very proud of how things came out. You finished your final, final project. Congrats. Oh my gosh. Graduation time. Oh my goodness. Big congrats. Big PP. That's amazing. And that's really wild to me. But yeah, very happy for you. I hope you get to celebrate your graduation and everything. Adulting time for real. Oh man. I believe in you. You got this. I am also trying adulting time for real. But yeah, wow, graduation. Oh my gosh. Uh, how should I? I'm trying to be blobby. This is hard. <laughs> Maybe I should, uh, I don't know if I have any... specific um, inspirations that I want would want to refer to for this. Thank you for the hydrate falcon. Appreciate it. We've had a bit of a chaotic stream today in terms of internet stability. I wonder if um, the VODs are going to be chopped up. Excuse me, that was a really wet phoneme. <laughs> Let me I'm gonna look through my um notepad to see if I have any specific references I could look at for these textures. I'm gonna look at these more shaped based things that I'm looking for. I added a new section of my inspiration board that it's called. Well, textures is a pretty new one. But I also added one called shapes, so. Maybe I have stuff in there. If not, then maybe I'll just make it slightly more detailed. And I'll use sweet me Sona instead of doxing them. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs in their, in their human-like glowy form. Where is my shape? shape? <laughs> Pikmin. Okay, shapes is not does not have any humanoid blobbies. Yeah, I kind of like this. Uh. This one I've used before. So, we're going back. I have the power to make decisions. Oh my gosh, graduation. We have been so thinking about adulting things like uh, jobs and places to live and stuff. We have been browsing the places to live. Such as Chicago. I've heard some good things about Chicago. And uh, we visited Texas, so that's also on our list. <laughs> we need to visit Chicago, though. And uh, I haven't been to Seattle in years, but that could also be an option. Basically, we're opening up our possibilities instead of just SoCal. Which is, yeah, gonna open up a lot of possibilities. I keep forgetting that Chicago is in Illinois. Chicago's cool. Have you been to it? Have you seen the bean? There's a bean in Chicago. <laughs> If I, if I went there, 
Would I have to go up to the bean and tell the bean that this town ain't big enough for the two of us? <laughs> I might have to do that. This town ain't bean enough for the two of us. Oh my god, I don't know how to do... We need to bend this knee more so we don't crush the cars. Or something. Or have a... Yeah, spend it more. I think, like, one thing about, like, doing more sh quote unquote what I'm calling shape-based art is that you've been there a time or two. Oh, that's right, yeah, when we've been there in GeoGuessr, you're like... You talk about how you've been there. That's wild. I, I, I've only been there in the GeoGuessr when we visit the McDonald's and stuff. Uh, with the shape-based shape -based art, it's like... It's less perspective and foreshortening and more like... Clarity of 2D shapes, I guess, is how I would describe it. So like, instead of bending this knee back towards the background and then having like a short looking leg, I just like extend it to the side in order to have that 2D clarity. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having art thought. Uh. Good call back, yeah. I want to play GeoGuessr again soon. So I, I need to, like, uh, get... I should schedule a day for it, and then we can play it on stream or, or Discord or something. And then I'll get the membership or whatever. You just plan on stay, like, staying local, yeah. Nice. We are kind of getting, um... We're kind of seeing just the stark difference of affordability between SoCal and not SoCal. So, I don't know, maybe we'll come back to SoCal one day, but today is not that day. I don't know. Uh, okay, I did it. I think this is how I want to be. Maybe. I will lessen this leg a little bit. Moving in with your partner in June. Found a nice apartment recently. Oh, nice! Wow! That's great to hear. And yeah, I guess it's May tomorrow. Graduation stuff is gonna be like in May and then moving in June working at the farmers market up as well oh wow first day of the outdoor season is Saturday have y'all still been having snow like in like earlier this month first day of outdoor season California often does not have indoor seasons of things. Okay, I have finished my blobby. Time to make a Kimlon blobby. Are you ready, Kimlon? <laughs> At the beginning, there was some snow. Well, no. Are you ready to be floppied? <laughs> yeah, it is a big question. You are currently an apostrophe. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. We're traveling through the desert. I'm asking if they're ready. 
But I'm already starting to blobby. Here, I'll give you eyes. Maybe that'll help. I don't remember what size my eyes were. I think 15 is about right. You look like an alley! Oh my gosh. You an alley? A sing- ending single quote, not an apostrophe. Okay, got it. I'll- I'll personally note this. Your neck exists more than my neck. <laughs> I have to sort of like navigate this. <laughs> Reality. I was thinking I should lose. Hmm. How should I make your hair exist? This is weird. Uh, to me, this is unusual to do like not line art face things so this is like and just literally just working with the shapes it's been a while since i've done something like this i think that reads better for your hair what's the image you saw a bit ago in memes let's see Mark a word that is shorted. This cat! It's so funny. Their angle! Oh my gosh, they're so ready. They're approaching. They only have one leg. They're a really tall apostrophe. Good job. Good job to that cat. <laughs> did you save that image or did you have to go find it? What happens if we're two glowy creatures and then, like, our limbs cross? What goes on, do you think? What happens if I'm glow? Whoa! I don't know what's going on. If I... The glow, like, layer setting is so fun to me. Add glow layer setting. Normal. I don't know. Layer settings could make this fun. You're at the five. I see. Layer settings could make this fun, or I could just be green. I kind of like that with the layer settings that I can, I like see through, like the the sky. I see it through. Hmm. I have a fifty percent add and a one hundred percent overlay. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here for now, but then uh, later I can probably uh, make them glowy. Note to self, make, let me make it. glowy layers of rem notes. This is called notes. Paternal horn. Nights into dreams. I don't know this game at all. I don't know if I've heard of it ever. Notes. Make glowy uh fifty percent add glow and a hundred percent overlay. But 
This has to happen after I draw out the shapes. For Sega set, I see. <laughs> you know this song? Oh my gosh, hi Jay. You know, it was like, that kind of makes me feel like uh, some of the retro games that Jay was playing recently. Hello, I hope you have been doing well, enjoying the lurk perhaps, and having a good Tuesday. I'm currently drawing friends as glowy. We're glowy. I don't know what to do with Kim Lan's arms. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's weird that like, if the random hue selects like towards the dark blues that it makes this really like kind of unsaturated blue. I don't know. Up in the air like wiggly true. Come on, does do that sometimes. They could be <laughs> their arms up in the air. <laughs> Here, let's see. That could actually make a, a, an interesting composition flow. Hey Jay, check out, I don't know if you saw these already, but check out these scuffed emotes that we drew earlier. I'll post them in Discord later, but these were the requests from this month. There's Bean Munch, Krogunk, Bean Fall, Bean Thinkies, and Bean Sniff. I imagined being sniff while I was napping, like today. This was very fun. I have this overarching art goal that I feel like is very important to me to like draw more expressive arts. I'm like, how wiggly do I want to make their arms? Or if I just want to put them up in the air. Like, they just don't care. Suti's me is pretty small, so... They can fit. <laughs> in the space behind. <laughs> Small. Small holder. <laughs> yes. Small holder. Cow poke. Small holder. Sneezing, Nemo. Okay. Aww. Oh my gosh, I saw one of the neighborhood cats in our backyard today. More wiggly? Yeah. I can try more wiggly. I'm just, I'm trying to keep the shapes not intersecting with their head, so I will. Have to work around that. <laughs> Come on, how do you feel about your arms being really? <laughs> hmm. I like your your um. What is it called? Your example with all the teal days, Jay. I might go with the other version. I think I have like 
I want the arms to be more basic shapes because I have um, lots of wigglies going on in the sky. But it was fun to try. Yeah, it, it was fun to try. The scuffed emotes were also really fun. But at the beginning, I was very, very stressed. <laughs> Whenever I draw a hand, I have to check which side the thumb is on. I don't know. I will just always have to check. That's fine. So party. This is like a silhouette, except it's a glowing silhouette. Yeah, <laughs> that is a really long song. <laughs> I wasn't really noticing, but it's true. <laughs> I think it's wrapping up. No, it's going into like its fifth movement or something. <laughs> I think we're free. Mario Golf time. Yeah, there we go. I need to make this shape more clear also. I'm eating their shoulders a little bit, sorry. like go back I'm trying to decide if I want any overlapping between the the glowy friends or if they will all have their space there are benefits to both if we overlap we can have some like double glowy going on on the overlapping parts if they don't overlap at all, they could have like complete clarity. As individual blobby human humanoid lobbies. I think I'm leaning towards the not overlapping.
Kill the ones instead of the coppers. Oh. Don't do it. I'm also wondering if I should just like have the left foot on the left and then the right foot on the right of the canvas for shape clarity as well instead of doing this crossing over thing. Like I think this crossing over thing introduces too much 3D. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's what we're looking for in this drawing. <laughs> Not really looking for 3D. Hmm. I will try to un 3D you a little bit. Let's do that again. Move this like forward. Responsible for making sure that Kimlon doesn't step on cars. Got this, I think. More Stardew. Oh, I guess there's multiple different spring songs. We had a, a different one at the beginning of the playlist. That was called like the world is so big or something. It's a similar effect. I'm itchy to play more Stardew. I think we just entered fall. feel like to be this blobby shape. Let's see if uh, the same glowy effect works well with the blue color now. Okay, so I had a 50% add glow. And then I had a uh, 100% overlay. Oh wait, that's off light. Oh, really? Excuse me, I think it works. I think I need to fix their front leg. I think what I'm gonna need to do is have, uh, let's have a group of layers for plain blobbies and then for glowy and then I can easily switch between them and see two different versions later. So here's the overlay glow ones. And here's the plain one.
I didn't know Kimelon was an ally. I thought they were a villager villager. But they look so ally here. Oops. Grab this blue. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you look like you're finishing a marathon. This is incredible. <laughs> okay, I need a Suti Sona reference. Easiest place to find that bee. Thanks, Jay. This is fun. This is, I had this idea while I was uh, sketching in my sketchbook the other day. But I, I didn't uh, get to starting it until now. Also, I don't know if I would have like been able to do it in the style that I wanted to do without having done the scuffed emotes first to be honest you wish you were good at design so you could draw sunflower on you I think you could how's um have you been trying procreate and stuff on your iPad yeah they're nomming it's called bean chomp but they're, <laughs> it turned out to be more like bean glomp. <laughs> Been busy lately. I see, I see. Yeah, I feel like if you get to spend some time on it, then you'll be able to create some stuff. Part of like why this exercise is so important to me, or like this scuffed emotes like thing, and like actually letting myself make something scuffed, or like. It's super fun, but like part of it is like I had to break past like the perfectionist stuff because it's like holding me back from making things more expressive like this, I guess. So I am trying that. Okay, hmm. Maybe I wonder if Starry's uh, like anniversary VOD is still up. Because I know Sweet Me appears there. Otherwise, I'd have to open a console, which I could do. On her YouTube? Oh, yeah. Okay. Stream archive. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Who your stream anniversary? Here it is. Gotta find the Mario Kart section. Oh, it isn't near the beginning. That was fun. I like Mario Karting with friends, and we had like, I don't know, like up to 10 people in the lobby at one point. So we like almost had all human players with no CPU. I found them. They have antenna. They're <laughs> staring into my soul. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it was fun. How do I make a glowy dark green that isn't the same as a glowy lime? This is a challenge. Hugo! Oh, thank you for the raid. Yeah. I don't have 
the audios of that. Maybe it's in um the settings since I've been playing um my audios out loud instead of wearing headphones recently on stream. Hello, hello, Curvy Air Ride. What were you all up to in Curvy Air Ride? Were you playing some chill max that? Some chill city trial? What was it? We love Kirby Air Ride around here. <laughs> Thanks everyone for for joining the raid. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm drawing this right now. It's uh inspired by a trip that I got to go on this month. Regular old city trial. Nice, nice. Yeah, I hope you had a fun stream. And then we also made these scuffed emotes earlier. Um, they were our monthly requests. Um, uh, I was only online streaming for like half this month, so I decided to make it a more casual requests, uh, than before. Which is like, I want the requests to be more casual. But, uh, yes, I'm very proud of how they came out. Thank you! <laughs> yeah. They are so silly. I I can't wait to add them to the Discord later. I exported them like properly, so I should be able to add them later. I just need to make room because our Discord's always full of emotes. We don't have any free spaces. But yeah. Now I'm drawing this, which I'm having a lot of fun with. It's like a hard pixel brush. No anti-aliasing, and it's it's feeling crunchy and nice, like. Yeah. But yes, thanks for the raid. Just chilling today. It kind of feels like a Friday to me for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm doing like an end of the month um, thing. But sure is Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, how do I make a dark green glow? Maybe I have to make a sweet, more like a teal green in order to, in order to achieve this this song title is so funny to me oven fresh day what does that even mean let's check our uh, values with this color maybe i think that's still that's still very clear what if i can i bring it down oh no let's keep it pretty bright Sweet, are you ready to become blobified? <laughs> are you ready? You're gonna have little antenna on everything. I should make your eyes like the circle eyes of your me, though. Instead of the tall eyes I gave me and Kim on. You're so small. <laughs> Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I always forget this game exists. This is so accurate to how you looked IRL and how our heights were when we stood next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> so small. I might have to make you a little taller so that your limbs are proportional. Everyone forgets this game exists. Starlo is in there. But yeah, I guess I only played like the popular Mario and Luigi game. And then now it doesn't exist anymore. Antenna hammer. This is 
This is definitely how sweet looks IRL, by the way. It's very accurate. Oh my gosh, creature. <laughs> You're so waiting for what's going to happen with the Mario RPG. In this post, Super Mario RPG and Thousand in Your Door remake world. Yeah! I wonder too, especially because like those remakes are like probably selling hugely. And also like new fans for the Mario RPG series. So then they're gonna be like, hmm. I wonder if we'll make another one. <laughs> they hear <laughs> your future person. I'll have your like arms out. You're going to be like, hmm. When's the last time a new Mario game had an EXP mechanic? I wonder. Uh, I don't. I admittedly don't know about Origami King. Did Origami King have a Paper Mario Origami King have an EXP mechanic? I like kind of watched a friend play it, but like, uh, very lurky, not really paying attention. I just like hung out around that friend and listened to him talk. None of the newer Paper Mario's did? Oh, huh. Hmm. You look like... Your meat character... I'm making them look so much like Peridot from Steven Universe. Or like... Maybe I'm just thinking that because green and small. <laughs> Green and small and shaped, but Peridot has a Dorito head. Oh. You have a different snack type of head. Hmm. They look like the one gym that was in a single flashback shot. Never elaborated on? I do not remember this at all. Probably because they were in a single flashback shot and never elaborated on. I like, I do like the, the spirit friend designs in Korra. Skipping look like. I don't know. <laughs> Windmill Isle. Sonic has some but fun music. But yeah, I appreciate this playlist person for adding the titles on the screen as well as. Never mind. They're not also in the chapters, for YouTube, but they're on the screen, and I feel like that's that's easier to show on stream. I dropped my tablet pen. No matter how bad the game is, Sonic almost always has nothing but banger. Yeah, at least it, it has good music. Legs. 
I think I'm making an arm is too short. <laughs> so I need to fix that. Maybe I should rotate them down a little bit. You'd think I'd be good at proportional limb things for short characters. <laughs> but I don't I don't think I've actually studied my proportions. It's <laughs> so creature pose. I can't believe you're so small. I know. I'm revealing it. Maybe I'll have you like in a more in a running. Your arms will be like a, a running. Let me hold on to your limbs for a second. <laughs> like this. Four limbs not found. The creature posed. Like the me character is already like really creature, but like um seeing them like as a blobby is even more creature. It's so funny. Yeah, terrible. Hello, N. And I can I can show you the Krogunk emote that I drew for you. Thank you for your request. Good morning. I'm also drawing. Oh my god, Sweet Sun is kind of buff. What have I done? <laughs> Let me finish this arm and then I can show you. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun drawing today and it's, um, I was able to like get over some, some initial concerns when drawing these scuffed emotes and now I'm just having a good time. It's awesome. But yes, here are the scuffed emotes that we drew. Here is the Krogunk. I'll be able to upload them. Sweet shape revealed. <laughs> it's based off of sweet to me. There's a Krogunk. And then I drew this bean fall for BT. Bean Monch for sweet and bean sniff for sweet. It's your son, yeah. And then bean thinkies for Kimlan. I love this bean thinkies. They look so funny. I'm gonna try to upload them to Discord afterwards. Um, I just have to like find space in the Discord. Also, the background is just random colors. I placed it before starting to draw so that I would be a little bit inspired <laughs> by the colors. Yay, Wind Waker. They do look smug. They're also like slightly flattened, but it was fun. This was like, the, this was the first one I drew because you were the first one to put a, a request. So I was like, oh my God, we're calling out, coloring outside the lines. Oh no. And, and then I calmed down and then we made beautiful art. And now we're making more art. Hooray. Oh my god, both of my elbows popped when I did that. <laughs> I was talking about my elbows popping earlier. Oh, the thinking one looks smug. Yeah. <laughs> they have some sort of funny plan going on. They're they're ready to do a silly. 
they're definitely ready to do something silly. And this bean sniff? They're sniffing something suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy with the art that I've been making so far today. This one is also, um, I came up with this one, like, in my sketchbook first, but now I'm adding, I'm making it as color. I can actually show later. I can show the, the sketch be, uh, compared to the the final, which that would be cool. Poke toxic croak one. I don't know what that one looks like. Do they also have toxic croak? A hollow star, green. This is sweet's form. This is sweet. Sweet's so so sweet me. They have they appeared. When did they first appear? When maybe when I played Mario Kart in January? Wait, so if you're running like this, then your left leg goes up. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I'll end up having their legs do something similar to what Kimlon's legs are doing. And we'll see how it goes. I remember a really long time ago I did like, um... Pokemon from memory. But I could do something similar again I don't know it's kind of getting to the point where I don't know enough Pokemon to do that kind of thing <laughs> unless I restrict it to like the first four generations the first five or so these ones are for Pokemon oh you don't know if they replaced Togunk Krogunk with Toxicroak in a later iteration of the game I see, I see. Yeah, I've never played that those games either. Oh, I don't I don't know. This is how we um, made it to the eclipse, by the way. We traveled on foot in our glowy forms. We have to be careful not to step on the cars. Yeah. But yeah, the, the beginning of the stream was very different vibes than this. I was very stressed. But, uh, it was all for the better. It was all- it's all good now. Very sustainable. Yeah, who needs... any vehicle when you just turn into a glowy form and... and run across the desert. Go Forrest Gump mode. Just about what doing the art. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna make it scuffed enough because I have too many perfectionist like habits of like control, like control Zing like every single time the line doesn't come out the way I want it to. But we managed to figure it out. I kind of drew sweet like hunched over. Yeah, I'm very happy with how they came out in the end, so... Yay. But yeah, like, I don't know. It was a good exercise because I want to I wanna do some more scribblies, arts, and like... Yeah, like, things that focus on the expression more than like... How neat the details are or anything. Or like, more focus on the shapes than like... 
the exact, yeah, stuff going on. So, it's been a fun day of art. Uh, recently my other art has been a lot in my sketchbooks. Okay, yeah, I did it. I added the, the suit. And yeah, Kimlan's finishing a marathon in this drawing. We gotta be careful not to step on any cacti. Also. Yeah, that would hurt. Uh, let me make the glowy version, so... That glows the plain blobby, then we have... I should have a 50% glow and a 100% overlay. 100% overlay. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna have go with sweet screen color. Oh, that turned out fine. Sweet's <laughs> character's eyes are so funny. Oh my god. Uh, this is pretty cool. I guess Kim Lens is like really brighter because they're the light blue is brighter. Hmm. I can balance it a little bit. Hello Toe, thank you for the good luck. And you appreciate it. This is, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm offset. Why am I offset? I moved it. This is what the plain version looks like. And this is what the glowy version looks like. The glowy version has more contrast. I'm thinking, I'm like, which one do I like better? What if I make this an overlay version too? Just add more color. That's fine with me. Maybe I'll leave it like this for now. Um, let's do some sky details and then I'll probably wrap up so I can chill and see if I'm up for minecrafting or, or if I'm sleepy. I don't know. I think I took a huge nap. I just don't... I don't really feel like it, cause uh, like I don't feel like I took a huge nap. It was kind of a weird nap. Sky details. Okay. I'm gonna add some stars or something. You love this music? Yeah, it's so good! It is a very good song. And I hope you're doing well too, I don't know if I said that. But I do! Thank you for the- Uh... I need to draw like a really tiny sliver moon. Cause that's what I- on the way back. All right. Not to be confused with the eclipse. Isn't that weird that during the eclipse the moon made like the sun into the shape of what we like think of the moon? But it was the sun part. <laughs> Got home from hanging with friends. Oh wow! Friends are pretty good, actually. Let's go. It's always so refreshing to hang out with friends, yeah. We saw- we did see the moon do that to the sun. 
But yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good hangout. I don't have that much like IRL friend hangout recently in recent years because uh yeah because of covid and like graduating in 2020 how timely and uh just friends like some friends adulting and like living in different cities and stuff the sun out of an event skin yeah but yeah like I got to go to a birthday party of one of those friends recently, this year, like a few months ago, and it was very nice to see everyone. I'm glad your hangout went well as well. I don't know how I want to do that. Maybe like that? Maybe it needs to be bigger. I don't know! It's okay. <laughs> There's a literal self-soothing going on right now. <laughs> Talking is fine. I think I'm basically done with this. Uh, let me see what else I had in my sketch note. With stars and gradient, maybe some wispy clouds and desert and or desert dust. Uh oh, wispy clouds. I think we're good. We did squiggly rake line instead. One lane highway. Headlight, headlights. Glowy. Yes. We did it. <laughs> I think I like it. I'll sign it somewhere now. And then I'll wrap up stream. This was a really great art stream. I am very happy about it. And thanks everyone for hanging out during it. Uh, let's see. Recently I've been signing- oh. Unoptimized. I've been signing things with the year and month, but not necessarily the day. It's the last day of it. I almost said February. April. <laughs> I made it. I got there eventually. Uh, I want it to be smaller. Thought we were in March yesterday, but tomorrow can't be the first. There are 31 days in the month. I get the opposite more often, I think. Where like I'm like, wait, there's one more day in the month. <laughs> Whenever we have the 31 day month, I'm just like, why is this month so long? <laughs> For a month working overtime. You know what's a scam? Is that all of our monthly dues and stuff cost the same for February. <laughs> February is like significantly shorter than all of the other months. It's at least two days shorter than the other months. That's a whole 115. All of our monthly dues, like rents and stuff. They're always treated the same for February. Thank you for PP. Yeah, I'll post this later on, on medias and stuff. Um, but I'll probably post these all into Discord first. Uh, Discord is cool. And then I'll worry about the other stuff later. Flower Fields Rondo? Who's Rondo?
Okay. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. I don't think so. So I'll be back on Thursday to play more Kirby. And yes, here's the Discord link if anyone wants to join it and see the emotes and stuff and get updates about other art requests, things that will be happening like at the end of the months and stuff. I'll try to come up with more like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this was a really good prom for me <laughs> to like be able to explore things. So I'm gonna try to come up with like some good props <laughs> and or I might just try to attach some sort of limitation to it like how I only used like the pixel brush this time the hard edge brush so we'll see how it goes but I feel like this one was very fulfilling uh, yeah yeah thanks for hanging out yeah art streams are very chill yes the beginning was totally very chill. <laughs> you age rating. <laughs> Join for updates in case we decide to increase the age rating again. Oh man, I don't have my, my license to serve alcohol. I'm not food certified right now. Yes, totally chill. But yeah, I like art streams. I have some ideas for future art streams. Like, um... Sweet's been doing draw along with the monthlies, but like, um, I have some like, I want to do some like explicitly draw along and I'll like say that and have references for all of us to look at and then we can do some like fun little draw alongs. Um, one that is very on my mind is Reddit cat. I'm always saving Reddit cat photos for like, for like art references in the future and stuff. But yeah, uh, I have some ideas and we'll get to do some chill things. Let me see if there's anyone on the line. I think I will just end stream today. Yes, I think I'll do that today. At Barkatsu. <laughs> I'm sure there's a place called Barkatsu somewhere. Good night, good night. My favorite Kirby plushie says good night. And I appreciate y'all very much. Bye! Bye! I turned the, the noise gate up so I can't say bye as easily. Bye!